Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos and so let's talk about genuineness once again. In the last episode, we talked about genuineness, the audience feeling that you really mean what you're saying, which is important because the less your audience feels that you mean what you're saying, the less impact that you're going to have. And we went through different tricks on how to achieve this without a script. And this time we will take on how to appear genuine while reading lines, which can be quite difficult. From time to time, I hear YouTubers perform like this appearing to be reading from a script. And it has consequences for whether people believe what you say or not. So I bought this shirt yesterday. It's blue and green and I, well, I like it. What do you think? Um, uh, what do you, you think know? about the shirt? Uh, hold on. Um, I think this piece of clothing and or accessory makes you look handsome, it fits you well, and the color brings out your eyes. Let me give you one example. I'm not in front of the camera right now because right now I'm at my mom's house on Christmas Eve writing the script for this episode, which means that what you're seeing in front of the camera is basically just a puppet saying the words that I'm writing right now. So just for the fun of it, I'll even script in this, this pause. What I'm saying at whatever time that I'm recording this is scripted. But I mean, don't I seem like a real boy? So your challenge is to once again to appear genuine in front of the camera or microphone but this time while reading lines and reading lines with bad acting is like singing falsely you want to get as far away from that as possible so let's take a look at some tips the first thing that you need to do is to know your lines well the need to think about what words come next will distract you from your delivery but the more you know your lines the more you'll be able to just have fun with them and that's when you really shine. The second tip is to have a goal. What do you want to achieve through your text? Why are you saying what you're saying? Uh, if you have problems with specific lines, then you can use this tip. So let's use the sentence, I love you as an example. Now think about what is it that you really want to convey through that sentence? What are you really saying? If what you really want to say is, I mean this with all my heart, then you can take that sentence and take the delivery from that sentence, but just replace the words with I love you. So, I mean this with all my heart becomes I love you. Now, maybe you instead want to convey the message that I'm so tired of you, and that then becomes I love you. Or maybe that you want to convey that you're surprised by this fact. I'm so surprised. Because I love you. So take the delivery from that more basic sentence and apply it to what you want to say. Another thing that you can do is to just test your way forward. You can just read your lines over and over again and then save the deliveries that you like and then after a while you'll build up enough experience to not have to do that all the time. So those are three tips, hopefully you'll find them useful, tell me in the comments below if you did. I'll see you in the next episode, thanks for watching, bye.